Diss songs that have made other rappers stay away from any beef with 50 Cent. Welcome to the Thinkative. Today we're listing 5 50 Cent songs that have made other rappers stay away from any beef with him. 50 Cent has become a serious businessman today, with a vast variety of business ventures across different sectors including music, liquor, audio headsets, sports, film and TV. As any serious businessman, he has stayed away from any controversy that might hurt his businesses. This includes starting or encouraging any beefs with other musicians. Once upon a time though, the thought of beefing with 50 Cent probably sent shivers down the spines of other musicians. His audacious rise to fame was marked by the systematic targeting of musicians, especially rappers who were more successful at the time than him. He was so comfortable with clashing with other musicians that at one point, he was in conflict with almost every big name in hip-hop. Jay-Z, Nas, Fat Joe, R. Kelly, Cameron, Huel Santana, Shine, Lil Wayne, Jim Jones, Rick Ross, Game, French Montana, Diddy, the list goes on. Even non-musicians like Floyd Mayweather, Oprah Winfrey and even drug dealer Kenneth McGriff got a taste of 50 Cent's mouth. Interestingly, most of these guys were smart enough not to engage with him in a full-out music battle. The few that took the bait to clash with him, quickly regretted the decision as he eviscerated their careers with one diss track after the other, relegating them to the back and putting all the spotlight on himself. The sheer savagery with which he went at any musician he beefed with, has made other rappers stir clear of ever crossing paths with him and having to go through the same treatment. Here are 5 songs that marked 50 Cent as a savage at rap beefs and have made other rappers not mess with him. If it's your first time here, welcome. Please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up to this video. Number 5. Get the Message. A Kenneth Supreme McGriff Diss. Kenneth Supreme McGriff is an iconic New York underworld figure, a charismatic narcotics trafficker and violent gang leader for whom 50 Cent sold drugs as a teenager. It is not clear how his beef with 50 Cent started. It is speculated that conflict started as a typical case of if you're not with me, then you're against me. 50 Cent expected Supreme as a mentor to side with him in his beef with Ja Rule. As that didn't happen, he assumed Supreme was against him. In the diss track he basically threatens the drug dealer saying he's kept shooters watching him and ready to take him out. Some notable lines include. I left a message by your door, got a chrome 44. I leave a shooter by your door to make your ass leak. Now come out come out, find out what I'm about. Now when you think that such words are addressed at a violent gang leader and drug dealer, it makes you not want to cross paths with the person saying them. Number 4. Officer Ricky, go ahead try me. A Rick Ross diss. The rivalry between Rick Ross and 50 Cent is among today's long-standing hip-hop beefs. Like many other beefs, it is blurry how it started. It is rumored to have started in March 2008 with 50 Cent complimenting Rick Ross on his number one album during an interview but also warning him not to stand too close to Fat Joe who was feuding with him and G-Unit at the time. Alluding that the friend of my enemy is an enemy. The same year during the BET Awards, Rick Ross saw 50 Cent and did not like the way he looked at him. 50 Cent would later claim that he doesn't remember Rick Ross even being at the award show. You probably know of the rest as it has played out before our eyes on social media and even escalating to court. In the diss track, 50 Cent takes three full verses to drop disrespectful line after another at Rick Ross. He makes references to Rick Ross's past as a law enforcement officer and warns him to stay clear. He even takes provocative shots at Lil Wayne as if to spark a feud with him. Number 3. Life on the Line. A Ja Rule and Murder Inc. Diss. This is one of the early diss tracks of 50 Cent directed at his fellow New York rapper Ja Rule. The beef between the two is among the longest standing beefs in hip-hop. It is so long-standing that different accounts give separate causes. 1. That Ja Rule accused 50 Cent of hanging out with a friend who attacked him and stole his chain. 2. That 50 Cent felt disrespected by Ja Rule and his crew when he came by the set of one of his music video shoots to say hi. 3. That 50 Cent felt jealous over Kenneth Supreme McGriff's support of Ja Rule rather than him. Whichever cause you choose to believe, the two have since been in a heated beef that has even turned violent and deadly. In this track, 50 Cent attacks Ja Rule and his label Murder Incorporated, calling them fake rappers and telling them their lives are on the line. He even throws shots at Jay-Z and Nas, who seemingly supported Ja Rule and not him. Number 2. Back Down, a Ja Rule and Murder Inc. diss. The Back Down diss track was released on 50 Cent's debut album, Get Rich or Die Trying. Most believe this to be the final nail in the coffin of Ja Rule's career. 
50 Cent had just been signed to Shady Aftermath and now had a proper team on his back. The playfield was now level. He also brought a laid-back flow style that had not been seen before and which many considered superior to anything that Ja Rule had brought so far. In the track he clowns Ja Rule and his entire label for being scared and helpless now that he was back in the game. Number 1. Piggy Bank, an all-star dis. Despite the several shots made at Ja Rule and his crew, his career was not over yet. In 2006, he released his hit single New Year which featured Fat Joe and Jadakiss. In the track, he takes shots at 50 Cent and alludes he was the best from New York. 50 Cent responds with Piggy Bank, from his second studio album, The Massacre, four minutes of direct naming calling taunt and disrespect. He flashes his success and goes after Nas, Jadakiss, Fat Joe, Ja Rule, R. Kelly and Shine. In the last lines of the track, he calls for a response, taunting his targets to do something. 50 Cent is not as relevant in the music business today as he used to be. However, at his prime, going against him was career suicide. His gangster attitude was well matched with his one-of-a-kind flow with which he fearlessly took upon anybody that crossed his path, no matter how big and influential they were. Thanks for watching. Let us know in comments which other diss tracks should feature on this list. Please subscribe to our channel and check out these other cool videos we know you would love.